you there in the foreground of one of the eight helicopters in the area to meet the Soyuz as it makes its descent to its landing site and coming up, as you can see, on that touchdown. It's just a few seconds away now. And the team here in the International Space Station flight control room confirming that the Soyuz TMA-22 has touched down in Kazakhstan. Anton, give him the corridor. And uh, you see the first of the crew members has uh, been removed from the Soyuz capsule. This is uh, Anton Shkaplerov, who was the commander of the Soyuz for its landing. He was seated in the center seat and of as such was the first to be taken out. Next up, of course, will be uh, his crewmates, Anatoly Ivanishin and uh, Dan Burbank. We're about to get the second of the three crew members out. Uh, this uh, process, whether the Soyuz lands upright or on its side, does take a, a few minutes to complete. But uh, they're working uh, methodically to extract the crew members and get them into their respective seats, the other two crew members, that is. Uh, typically, typically the um, left seater, uh, which would be Anatoly Ivanishin, would be the second one out. Uh, we'll see if that is the case uh, here. Sometimes uh, they reverse the order of the second and third crew members. There that are looks like what we're seeing. Up. And it is, in fact, the Venetian who is uh, pulled out of the Soyuz spacecraft, flashing a broad smile as he is put in his reclining chair, completing his first flight into space, as uh, did his Russian crewmate Anton Shkaplerov. Uh, this, uh, however, just seemed to be one of the most pinpoint precise landings according to what we were told a moment ago uh, before I went on the air. Uh, the spacecraft landed uh, almost exactly where it had been forecast to. Of course, uh, the search and recovery forces are tracking the Soyuz uh, through a beacon signal, uh, GPS receivers. Uh, they had uh, voice contact and now applause comes up. Dan Burbank now out of his and being carried uh, to his chair. We're going to walk over to see if we can get closer to him. Uh, he is in the process of uh, loosening uh, the helmet that uh, he wore during uh, the descent back to Earth. But uh, all three crew members now out of the Soyuz vehicle. Chief astronaut uh, Peggy Whitson uh, is uh, directly behind Dr. Burbank, asking him if he needs anything at the moment. Uh, Dr. Smith Johnston, his flight surgeon, and uh, Russian nurses are attending to Burbank as well. This is customary. They're placing a blanket over his legs. Uh, he'll have an opportunity to uh, re-familiarize himself uh, to the 1G environment here as uh, the moments move on before they're hoisted back into their medical tent, as I said, to get their flight suits off. And uh, now he's uh, about to receive congratulations from one of the head personnel for the search and recovery forces, making sure if he needs anything. Kaplarov again there, waving at the camera as he passes by. Followed here by Ivanishin. Be careful. Be 
And here, Commander Dan Burbank. This tent was carried by one of the helicopters and uh, set up after they had met the Soyuz at its landing site for the crew to use once they had a few minutes to get used to gravity. <laughs> 